time to grow up and take Ghost on to Evelyn, guys. I'm going to be showing you how to carry on her the easy way here in Season 14. With the best build and runes possible, you want Electrocute Sudden Eyeball Relentless with Absolute Gathering alongside double AP and armor. Ghost is a lot better than Flash right now, it lasts for 15 seconds and is a shorter cooldown. So by the very nature of coming up behind someone on Ghost, you're, it's almost a guaranteed kill. And you'll have it more often than your flash will be. I'm just three camping here. Three camping to gank on Evelyn is very consistent. If the enemy has flash ignite, they're probably going to be playing pretty aggressive and they'll be easy to kill. So that's exactly what we're doing here. We're going to three camp for a fast level three. As long as you take Gromp or Krux, you will get level three off of three camps. And that's what we're doing. For our build, it's going to be super, super basic. As much AP as you can possibly shove on Evelyn. Storm Surge first item is extremely desirable for the movement speed and burst. But we do want to get boots and dark sill very very first so is top lane gankable i'd say honestly yes it, it like barely is we can dive shove shove dive he needs to get the wave pushing though she's low i figured he would have lane prowess since he's a ranged character against briar top early on so um yeah she's just kind of screwed here she doesn't have a whole lot of places to go. We just need the wave to get underneath. All right, now we just walk it down. W, walk it on under. We land a Q. We got a ghost out. I didn't hit my speed up because Jin killed her before my E hit. So we just hit ghost and we're out of there. We're going with the Q, E. Down he goes. We'll smite that. We'll say well played to him and reset. Okay, first back, whether you get a gank or not after three camp gank, you should have dark seal. So even if you just three camp reset, you can afford dark seal every time. That's what we're buying right here. We'll grab boots as well. Since we got uh, some assists, we can afford boots. We'll pick it up with Oracle's control word first back. We have some opportunities bot side with Nautilus. Mid's going to be our hardest lane to gank because Ali's tanky and Twisted Fate's low damage. Our best ganks by far is to play around Bully kind of glass can and gin and to also play around the nautilus hook but you see the enemies are too deep underneath their turret to where we can't do a whole lot over there doing a full clear on evelyn is certainly still viable and it's not a bad way to play her if you are going to full clear though start top side full clear towards bot bot lane as a whole is much easier to gain because with how they shifted walls around compared to uh top and mid top and mid walls got so fat to where the turrets give way more valuable vision and the dives are slower paced because of how the walls are like you saw my dive took forever that's fine though so just something to think about if you are going to full clear it's almost always better to full clear to ganking enemy bot lane than it is to full clear ganking anything else but since i was just three camp clearing it didn't matter that much i could have started wraps red krugs and then gank bot that also would have been okay I just knew seeing Briar, some somewhat off meta top laner, I've played top Briar and I know how fragile it is, especially against ranged matchups. I knew that that would be my highest uh, odds of having a successful first gank. So Kane gets something done mid, Ali's low. Kane doesn't really have items yet, he died before we could afford even a long sword, I suppose. Either that or he just messed up and didn't want to buy a longsword. Maybe he's trying to buy something else. <laughs> Maybe the Tiamat item and he needs a pickaxe. I don't know. Hug the wall. This can't see us if we hug it on the wide side. If he gets her low, we can do this again. I mean, we'll just leave this right here. She misses the push. I need Jin to stop being so aggressive with her. It's making it hard to gank it. There it is. Just hit it with the WQ. We don't even need the charm. The W itself will just function as a slow in that sense. So we can throw out a Q in midair and W and it will still work that way if we really want to. Or we can just W then Q. Either is fine. As long as we get the slow. That's what we're looking for. Mm, we can beat Kane right now, I think. Yep. Yeah. I hit the charm. He's got nowhere to go. I really needed a yellow card. <laughs> Unfortunately, me dying there, I do lose Dark Seal stacks. On the bright side, I do get to back and spend my gold. 
We don't have to go for tier two boots because we can push for either Whisper. This will help us hit an earlier item faster. And we're going to focus ganking the same lane over and over to get our dark seals up. You don't typically want to spread your ganks out on multiple lanes on Evelyn. You want raw consistency. Although her full clears are efficient, she's also a very gold hungry, kill hungry champion who functions well off of getting kills. I think we can do something here if Jin's willing to stay. Looks like he wants to back. We can try taking these. They're kind of tanky, but if you pull them together, you can use your AoE damage a bit. Like you see here. Just pull them out. It makes it safer to take them in to escape if someone shows up. We'll go ahead and smite that one. Get it out of the way. For AoE damage, we can kill the small ones pretty quickly. Put a charm on him. There's no reason to even use an ability on it, really why it shields up, it decays. Since my ability is such a short cooldown, it's fine, and this is the only guy left, so I might as well. We get some gold, now we get some extra damage on turrets with our Void Touch. Get some extra on hit. I thought it gave it to your teammates as well, but I'm not seeing it. I guess they removed that function. We'll still be hitting a timely level 6. We'll be hitting it around 8 minute mark, which is pretty standard for most jungle champions unless you're soaking massive amounts of minion XP, being near minions as they die. Enemy minions specifically. Yeah, it is looking like an 8 minute level 6. The only lane jungle consistently hits 6 before is bot lane. And even Zai hit 6 before us there. Teemo must have been dead or doing roams. This alley is dominating, bro. We're going to hit him with an auto Q. We want to pull him back to where we're at. He got shredded up pretty good. We also got his R. We're going to have to R back for that. Get him with Q. We'll just kite it out and we're fine. We'll take it. I need it for the Dark Soul stacks. He doesn't have Dark Soul. It's fine. Without Ghost there, I may actually end up dying. Plus, it is a shorter cooldown than Flash, so we'll be able to get that use out here shortly. It's very common to give up the first Dragon or two on Evelyn. Unless you have R and Flash, it's hard to contest it. Or unless you're at a huge gold advantage. So a lot of times, it's common to give it up and kill a lane while they're taking it. So like kill top lane, for example. Could try Gank and Bot. Teal Mushrooms could be an issue. That's a good Nautilus R. He knocked both of them with that. Charm on her, smite minion. Auto, I save E to try to secure the kill. Securing the kill is really important, especially with Dark Sill. Threw away all my stacks. I can forward Storm Surge, so we reset here. Even for our red buffs up, it doesn't matter. Evelyn's all about just gold income and also level 6. It's big for her. Got Storm Surge, we have Relentless Hunter, moving super fast around the map. We could play Herald end this game early, to be honest. The Storm Surge functions essentially is giving you a whole extra ability worth of damage. We have 100 AP, 10 magic penetration, 5% movement speed, but the Storm Raider passes is what I'm referring to, an extra ability worth of damage. If we do roughly a third of their health within two and a half seconds, which is easy to do on most champions, especially a burster like Evelyn, then they take a huge chunk of magic damage and I get a movement speed bonus. We missed the first Q, that's fine. You saw the storm surge go off there, an extra 247 damage. We'll come up behind her. I'm moving 416 out of combat with no tier 2 boost. Most champions tier 2s move 380. We'll be patient here. We have minions to tank, so there's really no rush. Jin takes the first hit, which is actually the right thing to do since he's a ranged character. It's easier for him to step out of the turret range while still helping the whole time. He doesn't have to commit for extended periods of time. Uh, he's ranged. He can just sit on the outskirts and hit. Teemo blind darts really good against Twisted Fate stun car. If, if, even if Twisted Fate stun car is in midair, if he gets blinded, it won't land. It's really annoying. It's a very frustrating mechanic. He's like not likely to cross through. Like this will give us vision of him, but he's not likely to break it since he's going to be going through walls and stuff. It's a good forward ward. A lot of action going on bot side. I'll head over there. Timo's... He's, yeah, he's right here. I thought he was going to pop that, sure enough. He's got nowhere to go. 
Go in the bush. Give us the QE. My storm surge should go off and kill him. Yep, I don't need to press R because of it. It's the storm surge really is the final hit that you need to kill them every time. It's the perfect item for Evelyn. Only thing bad about it is there's no ability haze. QE, down she goes. I didn't get the kill, it's fine. My Dark Souls already filled up. I'm a lot faster than him. I could run him down here for sure. That scuttle speed up is brutal though. Down he goes. Oh, he got me, got me good. AP Alley has some stupid damage. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> He chunked me so hard and then I hit a random Teemo mushroom for 160 of my health. Teemo somehow a full item because support item gives way too much gold. Okay, we push Sorks here and Rock Belt's not bad, but we're already moving so fast it's not necessary. I'd say Banshee's unironically. Banshee's is pretty affordable for how much it gives. 3100 gold for 120 AP, 50 magic resist, and the spell block is massive versus Teemo shrooms. So Banshee's is huge. Only thing we're missing is ability haste, which we don't necessarily need in a gank situation since it's a gank, we land charm, it's a free setup. Teemo always goes malignants first, generally Leandri's second. Since Leandri burned his percent based, it's better the more health people have, which is why you build it second versus the malignants flat right now. They tweak them around, so that's just how it's working at the moment. Really, really, really want to get Dragon. She's dead, I think, from my item. Yep. There's the Teemo. He's got nowhere to go. Down you go, buddy. We really need Dragon here. Get that for me and Kaisa. I have Smite. We can... Oof. Yeah, that was scary. <laughs> and it ends up doing around 200 damage right now. You never really go for Merc Treads on Evelyn. The only time I do that is against Fiddlesticks. And that against good Fiddlesticks specifically. And that's only in games where I'm not turbo fed. Like if Fiddle's more fed than I am, then I'll go Merc Treads. But if I'm more fed than he is, even against really good Fiddlesticks players, I'll typically still push Sorks for the burst. We should take Harold. Looks like Alistair backed. We should also pull it out though. Kinda wanna take this. It's big to get both. We can go mid and top, hover them both. Teemo Mushrooms makes it more and more tedious to actually go there. Ali's bot side, so he loses turret. We could go inside of it. It's kind of funny to do, so I'll just show you guys. It bounces you out and you get a shield. It's more useful if there's enemy minions in the way and your herald's going to get stopped on minions. Look at all those little guys go. You can't actually cancel her channel, which is pretty frustrating. We smited him, slowed him down. He burned flash for that and didn't really get anything. There's a blind dart. You see, it didn't. stun card didn't land even though he threw it first. They need to change that interaction, it's so bad. <sighs> Alright, they see me, I gotta go back to farm mode. We'll have Banshees here pretty soon, it'll save us. Having a start Dark Seal and Mesh means you have to preserve those stacks at all costs. It's very common to see the Evelyn go for Banshees, second item, or even uh, a Zhonya's third. Never really Zhonya's second, it's pretty expensive. If the enemy team is really physical damage bursty heavy, like with the Talon Zed, then sure. Jeez, these mushrooms are ridiculous. Way too many. I hate how... So if I click on the mushroom, and then my oracles ends, my champion automatically keeps walking forward to that spot. It's... It's frustrating because you think that your last auto is barely going to finish. It doesn't and then your guy walks forward automatically. <laughs> Teemo favored interactions left and right. K 
Kane's a full item. I can deal with him. I, Dark Seal kind of counts as a 800 gold item when it's 10 stacked like this, so I'm pretty fed. Land the charm, EQ. I'm pretty fast, so landing it isn't that hard. That's why you go Relentless Hunter. Without Relentless Hunter, people will move away from where you're coming from. It's hard to actually get in range, because I mean your Q has travel time. Okay, from here, I will go for Banshees, because they have Teemo. Otherwise, I would normally go for Mesh into Banshees. They do have the Magic Dance from Teemo Alley, so Banshees is fine. Let's say their mid lane was Zed then I would be a lot less likely to pick up Banshees this game. I'd be much more likely to go for Zonis for the armor. But that, with the AP Alley Burst, I mean, come on. Check out my AP Alley videos. I understand how threatening it is. We we're playing pretty much strictly for dragons at this point. Drag Soul Wind Con. Baron's a long way off. We have five stacks. Touch the Void. We took the three things that gave us three stacks, and I guess Herald gives us two. Not bad. Evelyn's incredibly strong right now. She got... I don't know why, but she... Okay, I do know why. AP items are better. That's about it. Because the map didn't actually benefit her. Mid lane got much harder to gank as a whole. Because of this wall, the turret sees you for like three or four turret shots before you can come up behind them. Versus you used to be able to come up behind them. It would see you late and it wouldn't be able to hit you. But it's really just the AP items being stronger and cheaper as a whole got it smite that it's got these shrooms everywhere over here my r is on cooldown oh my goodness stepping on shrooms before my banshees can come back up cool canes here though I think I'm dead here. That sucks. Can't get out my Q in time. Well played to him. He did end up flashing for it at least, and we didn't lose mesh stacks. We only lost five dark harvests instead of ten mesh. At this point, we do need to get the mesh. Shadow Flame's insane on Evelyn to get some a form of crit damage from our magic damage is really, really good. It is kind of expensive though. I'd rather be fast off Lich Bane. If I had Lich Bane here, even though he flashed, I probably would have lived with the extra 8% uh, movement speed. It's also, if my green jungle item was finished as well, green jungle item is really good. So on Evelyn, with this setup, you're already so fast with Relentless Hunter that Rocket Belt isn't 100% mandatory, although it is inexpensive and it's still a great item rush. So, I don't know. It's one of those things. We don't need red jungle item with the rocket belt synergy with rocket belt applying red jungle item slow. We don't really need blue jungle item either. I don't know why he shouldn't have stolen that. That was scummy. I can see you, buddy. Got him. Nice, nice, nice. Can't hide forever, my dude. He's got two full items. He's as fed as I am with 16 CS and four kills. Incredible, man. Supporting League of Legends is so balanced. I'm moving 485. Nice try, Briar. Goodbye, Briar. We have both dragons. Very nice. They don't really outscale us either. With Absolute Gathering, Evelyn doesn't fall off. AP items, like even Banshee's giving 120 AP. I think Zonis gives 120, yeah. And what, Robodon gives like 140, 160 now? Yeah, 140 instead of its previous 120. Stepping on mushrooms left and right. That's why you take Banshee's first Teemo. They Zaya. And they quit. That's it, guys. That's going to do it for Evelyn. To round off the build, you always get Robidon and you always get Void Staff. It's that simple. Let's take a look at the graphs. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we have the most in the game. Looking at damage taken, 
a decent amount as well. Most on our team, not quite the most in the game. Self mitigated, uh, pretty high up there, but not quite the most. And for runes, high value. All in all, Evelyn is probably S plus tier right now with how strong the AP items are. Riot has put, consistently pushed up her AP scalings to keep her viable. And she's reaping huge rewards because AP items are giving more AP than ever right now. So definitely pick Evelyn or ban it. It's worth it. It's, yeah. I love you.